If you like. Okay, sure. Sorry to keep you waiting. I had some washing up to do. Oh, what does that involve? Oh, all the equipment that carries the milk. You have to because of the hygiene. There's a cold water rinse, then a hot detergent rinse, then one more with a water near boiling point. But come over here. There's something I want to show you. Okay, Mr. Murray, what's his... Forget the Mr. Murray stuff. Alan's the name. Alan? What's this great idea of yours? You're standing in it. Huh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> and there's plenty more where that came from. I can imagine. <laughs> ah, well, you see, I've got 24 cows here, and every day I've got heaps of this stuff to clean up. Oh, and you want us to work out a way how to get rid of it for you? Now, don't jump to conclusions. Methane. Pardon? I read the other day about a farmer in New Zealand who was using chook manure to make methane gas, which he then used to supply all the cooking, lighting and heating supplies to his farm. He even used them the tractor instead of diesel. Now do you see what I'm driving at? You want to make methane gas out of cow manure. That's the general idea. But the question I ask myself is how? Well, Crystal's the one to ask about that. Country girl. Wouldn't have a clue. Well, you're a fine pair, you are. Oh, but we can find out for you. Look, um, where are you getting the energy to run your dairy from at the moment? Well, electricity, you know, from the mains. Yeah, well, I doubt that you could use methane gas for everything. Oh, I don't know. They run fridges on gas, don't they? But the point is, the methane will be free because the cows don't charge me a cent for the manure. <laughs> anyway, I'd like to have a try at it. Electricity's not getting any cheaper. Well, we'll look into it for you. Good. Uh, before we go, could you give us a rundown on the various ways you use energy here? Anything for a country girl. What a stroke of luck. Yeah? While those two idiots are wasting time asking stupid questions, we can nip back to the office and build a methane machine ourselves. <laughs> Why do we want a methane machine? No, 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 it's not for us. It's for the farm. Eh? He wants methane, we'll sell him methane. Oh. Right. Huh? Oh, dear me, Plankton, sometimes you are such a worry. Do you really think so, Vortex? Oh, come on, to the Vortmobile. <laughs> Another way of saving on fossil fuels is to look for alternatives. One possibility is methane. And you go, Rick. Typical, been watching the box all afternoon, hey? And getting some very useful information. On pigs? Exactly. See, this is a videotape on producing methane gas from pig manure. Now, collection's made easy because they're kept in the one spot all the time in their pens. But our problem is the fact that the cows tend to wander around a bit. So? Well, it seems that only about a quarter of the cow manure actually ends up in the dairy shed or the holding yard where it's easily collected. And I just can't see Alan traipsing about paddocks collecting cow pets, can you? No, I imagine he's got better things to do. Well, I reckon he has. That's a problem. Mm. It sort of fits in with my problem. Oh, what's yours? Well, I went to the CSIRO today and I told them about Alan's idea. Mm. Yes, they said you can make methane out of pretty well any animal manure, including cows, but for just 24 cows it wouldn't be worth the effort. Oh. Oh? Not enough cows, not enough manure, not enough methane. So it wouldn't pay for Alan to bother collecting the stuff in the first place? Not to mention the time and expense installing the digester, the burner. Back to the drawing board. Back to the drawing board. Making methane from cow manure is a brilliant idea. I don't know why I didn't think of it myself. Hey, look, look, here's a machine that makes methane from potato peel. 
looks very complicated. Nah, it's far too complicated, my boy. But you see, the reason why I'm a genius is because I can find simple ways of doing things. <clears throat> Observe. <clears throat> now, all you need is this. A tank where you mix your organic material with water and another tank or something to collect the methane. What makes the methane? Ah, uh, bacteria, my boy. They digest the organic material. It's a sort of a chemical reaction during which the methane is formed, you see. Just bubbles up like this. And the ideal organic material is cow manure. Are you sure, Vortex? Oh, Plankton. You're such... you're such a septic. You're such a... Never mind. Just grab a shovel and garbage bag. Shovel and garbage bag. Pity about the methane idea. Ah, oh, well, them's the brakes. What about these other alternatives you're talking about? Oh, there's lots of them. Depends on your situation. Mm, there's wind power for a start. I mean, people have been making use of that for ages. Mm, we used to have a windmill. Still have, but we don't use it anymore. Ah, like this one? Yeah, that's the fella. For pumping water. Yeah, now we've got mains electricity, so we can pump any time we want to. Uh-huh. Did you know that there's another way to use wind energy? Hmm? When the blades of this wind generator turn around, it produces an electric current. That's what's moving the needle. I have to do more than move a little needle on my place. But yeah, well, that's only a model. I mean, you would use slightly bigger blades. Of course, the wind doesn't blow all the time. So what you do is feed the electricity into a stack of these batteries so that you've got enough energy stored for when there's no wind. But wind generators come in all shapes and sizes. Come here and have a look at this, huh? Now, this wind power generator on the Nullarbor Plain helps to provide enough energy to run television links and telephone and telex communications from one state to another, as well as sending and receiving satellite information. So you think a wind generator is the answer? Well, no, not really. Depends how much wind you get at the farm. You'd need to check weather bureau records and take your own measurements for at least a year before you could make a decision. Well, I suppose I could do that. But isn't there something we can do now? What about solar energy? Can't you get power from that? Mm, we've looked into that. It's easy enough to do. You just use some of these. That's a solar cell. Oh. That converts the sun's energy directly into electrical energy. But it's pretty expensive, <laughs> and you can't really use it on engines and so forth, which demand a lot of power. Made in Australia, this one was. A couple of hours of good sunlight on that battery inside will work for weeks. So does that mean, as far as power for my farm is concerned, I'm stuck with mains electricity supply for the time being? Well, we've gone into the whole thing pretty thoroughly, and we think there is one thing you can do. So this is the type of solar collector that people have on their roofs. Yep, it's copper painted black so that it gets hot in the sun and the heat is passed on to the water in these pipes. Well, I use plenty of hot water to clean the milking machines. Right, you could save 60% of your water heating costs. Of course, for the first few years, the saving really goes towards paying off for the system itself. What's it all consist of? Look behind you, Alan. This is the tank where you heat your water electrically at the moment, yes? Uh-huh. Okay, you put your solar collectors on the roof pump water from the tank up to the collectors, where it gets warmer, comes back down to the tank. Keeps going round and round like this, and every time it passes through the collectors, it gets hotter. 
Hmm. Well, how long would it take to install? Oh, a few days. Oh, well, when can you get started? Hmm? Oh, well, when I'm I can't help you, of course, because I've got the show coming up, but I'm willing to foot the bill. Um, tomorrow? Sweet violets, sweeter than the roses. Covered all over from head to toe. Covered all over in... Uh, vortex. Nah, ha, you're back. And not before time, too. Here, we'll have a look at this. <laughs> I'm not going to have a bath in that. Oh, you silly boy. This is to stir the manure mixture. You see, you get more methane that way. Well, well, where's the manure? Um, I had trouble with the plastic bag. Yes? So I used something I found in the back of the vortmobile. But Plankton, that was my best suitcase! But there was nothing else to use! <laughs> How's it going? Oh, fine. We just had to angle the collectors up to get as much sun as possible. Well, they've got special legs for that. Uh, uh, all right, that should do it. Done? Yep. Good. By the way, there's a couple more things you can do to cut down on the amount of energy you're using. Oh, like what? Well, if you cover all your hot water pipes like this, for example, you'll reduce the heat loss quite a bit. And dripping hot water taps. Mightn't seem important, but it's all energy down the drain. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, well, right now there's energy being wasted keeping our dinner warm. Can't have that. I'm forever blowing bubbles, pretty, pretty bubbles in the air. They fly so high, almost reach the sky, but then like my dreams fade away, and I... Vortex? Uh... Yes, Plankton? What happens when we run out of jars? Ah, oh, you're such a worry ward, Plankton. We're not going to run out. Look, the way it works is this. We sell the jars filled with methane to the farmer, right? Provided he wants to buy them, yes. Oh, of course he'll want to buy them. Now, he uses the methane, returns the empty jars, which we then refill with more methane. It's so simple, Plankton. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> the lights went out, Vortex. I know that, Plankton. <coughs> Why, Vortex? Yeah, the same reason as usual, I suppose. My scientific equipment must have overloaded the circuit. Well, I better check the fuse box. Plankton. Plankton, what are you doing? I seem to have broken the methane delivery pipe. But, but Plankton, those awful smells are going to escape all over the place. Well, quickly do something. I'll find the fuse box. Oh, Lord, you can't see it, see? I'll fix it. I'll light a match. No! No, 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 no. Plankton, Plankton, methane is highly inflammable. If you strike that match, the entire basement will explode. All of it. Including us. Just, just, just stay where you are. And I'll... I'll go find a torch. Oh, Lordy, that stuff doesn't half pump. Torch, 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 torch. Got it. I hope the batteries are working. Oh, thank goodness. Plankton? Plankton, where are you? Here. Oh, huh? ah! <sighs> Don't panic, sending me. Oh, oh, it's only you, Plankton. <laughs> that's what I said. What? That's what I said. What? I said it. What? I said that's what I said. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That, that gas mask. Why did not think of it before? Quickly, Plankton, we must fix the fuse box. I have the stirrings of a huge idea. Have you been cooking cabbage again? No. Nope. Would you notice anything? Yeah. Infinity Limited. Oh, hello, Alan. Oh. Well, it shouldn't be doing that. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's been pretty hot these last few days. I can't imagine. Look, look, don't worry. We'll be right over. Getting warmer. Yeah, sure. Bye-bye. 
coming from here. Cool. Forget the smell. We've got a dissatisfied customer. Alan, he said a pipe sprung a leak and your solar hot water system isn't heating the water properly. Now, how come? Because that was installed by an expert. Yeah, well, something's happened. Mm. Well, don't just stand there. We've got important things to do. Remember I said it's really bacteria that produces bethane from cow manure? Yeah. Well, guess what? The same bacteria live in a cow's stomach where they digest grass. Oh. And guess what they produce in the cow's stomach, eh? Eh? Oh. Eh? Oh. Methane! Oh. Look, look. The average dairy cow produces up to 300 litres of methane every day. A cow is a walking methane machine, Plankton. Hence my brilliant invention, the Vortex Snortex, which you are modelling so elegantly. You see, all we have to do is put it on a cow and collect all the methane. <laughs> that dopey farmer could have thought of this years ago if he'd been as intelligent as I am. <laughs> yes, Vortex. Now, See, to start with, we'll put it on a single cow as a demonstration unit. And then he'll buy one for every one of his cows, and... That'll make over 100 Vortex Snortexes, Plankton. I'll be rich! Yes, Vortex. <laughs> no more collecting manure. No more filling up this place with awful smells. <laughs> no, Vortex. Come, Plankton, to the farm! How's it going this time? I didn't tighten this nearly enough. Yeah, see, so if you've got a bad leak like that, you've got cold water coming into your system all the time. Yeah. A bit of a whiz with the old spanner, aren't you? Country girl. Oh, if ever you get tired of the city, there's always a job for you here. Oh, there's plenty for me to do at Infinity Limited, thanks all the same. <laughs> now, what's that all about? What? Well, I can only hear cows mooing as contented cows should. No, oh, contented cows don't moo. Come, Plankton. An energy-starved world eagerly awaits the fruits of my work. Now, I'll leave the business end to you. You mean the back end? Come on. Mm -hmm. 